What's going guys, Arav here, and welcome back to another episode of my Motorsport Manager career mode. We have got the last two races of the season in this episode. The Belgium Grand Prix at the Ardennes, and then Guildford, the British Grand Prix, to finish things off. But before we get into that, we've got some things to kind of discuss and go over. So in terms of, as we're going towards the end of the season, you need to start thinking about the team and the actual contracts we've got in place for certain people. So I've offered Balcazar a brand new contract. I've also offered our race mechanic for her and contract because they've been together for 90 weeks so i think that partnership is very strong it seems to be working well you know if you did miss last episode do go check it out but uh i'll spoil it for you now um obviously last episode right at the end we won that race with balgazar and that and that same partnership so i don't see any reason to break that apart you know they've got a good chemistry bond and it's good enough to win races in the in this division and we'll be staying in this in this division for next season obviously because if you look at the constructors there's no way we're going to really catch uh, the land racing unless they have a catastrophic disaster in the last two rounds and we get every single point available and even then i don't even think of it i don't i think it's i think there's a slight possibility but it's really not going to happen in reality so i think there's no reason to break apart that bond of Balgazar and her mechanic of Bishop. So we've offered them contracts. In terms of the other mechanic, Danny White, we've got him for another 26 months. That was quite a long contract. He's a really solid, uh, uh, you know, mechanic to have. So no qualms there. In terms of Cruz, a lot of you did did say that I should probably think about firing him. The only issue is he's actually got an entire year left on his contract, and to break it uh, is costing us four million to break it. So. Let me know what you think. Uh, I won't do anything. I'll uh, basically I'll end this episode right at the death of the last race, and I'll do the, all the preseason stuff in the next episode. So there's some time there for you guys to let me know what I, what I should do. Should I just bite the bullet and break his contract? Um, because in terms of other drivers we could potentially get the driver market um it, it's a bit of a tricky one we're scouting these four drivers that i just recently did but a lot of the scouted drivers that we've already looked at 37 of them actually we've already scouted quite a few drivers there's uh, there's a few standouts there that might be the same ability or a little bit better than cruz but um it's just about you know if we could actually get them and it would it actually end up being better uh, you know, we'd be 4 million down and we'd have to spring for a new driver. So just let me know about that. Uh, but anyway, getting back to the car. So as I said, going towards the end of the season, you guys did confirm to me in the comments the whole uh, theory I had about the risk parts. So that's all good. So that means that parts such as these two front... Uh, no, not these two front wings. Sorry, where's the part that we just designed? The new brakes, that will go down. So now I think it's time to actually redesign redesign a new set of front wings and also rear wings i think and really push those in terms of some risky levels to try and really get them higher and get them closer to the top of the grid because at the moment we're basically bang on average both of them so i'm going to kick things off with the rear wing because that's actually cheaper so we'll do that and also we don't actually have uh much to actually do in terms of the riskiness of it so we'll we can only do one right there so that's going to cost us five hundred fifty thousand. that's fine confirm that and so we'll we'll wait for that to be built. Then we'll build a new front wing, basically. You can see here, the reliability work is going to get done. My design of the rear wing is going to get done. And also the proposal for the contract. So let's see. A contract offer accepted. Awesome. So you can see here, actually, I completely lowballed her. I gave her, offered her 26000 when I'm paying her 42000 now. And she's accepted it. So I majorly lowballed her. But we've gone and signed it anyway. So that's awesome for us. Anyway, new parts built. So let's straight away get on to building a new front wing here so here's where we can go really big on the risk level 25 plus mat uh, 25 to the max plus 15 straight away uh plus 50 that's a huge huge improvement huge huge improvement we got another one to actually add to this so we could add a plus 30 so that's a major major improvement straight away and i'm really happy about that so 900,000. That's going to be good. That's going to get built one day after the race. So we have to wait a little bit for that, unfortunately. But at least it is built. So anyway, that rear wing has been uh, built. So let's improve the parts now. So let's try and improve the reliability of this rear wing. Really focus on that. Uh, the suspension we've completely done. Don't need to work on that. Is there anything else we desperately need to work on? Gearbox here. I think that'll be worth it. Uh, this part here is pretty much 92%. So... That's fine, that's fine. Uh, front wing, no. Engine, possibly, may as well. Actually, to speed things up, 
why don't I just take all that off and just really work on that that rear wing to really get the reliability up? Because I'm not too sure. I don't think the reliability carries forward, but it's always nice to have a good reliable part. Maybe we could even use that rear wing right at the end, potentially. Um, so I'll just add this little part. There we go. So that's all I'm going to do. In terms of performance, though, I do want to improve that rear wing we just bought because it's got plenty to grow, actually. So let's take that off. Do a bit of a little splitsy here of, let's see, 11-11. Yeah, that's good. Nice, nice split way. That's pretty much the only thing we're improving, because everything else, we've got to a pretty good level. We'll improve the suspension, I guess. Um, and is there anything else we desperately could improve? No, that's parts banned. That's completely maxed out, actually, 410. Um, so, no, we're looking fine. We're looking good in terms of what we could potentially improve, really. So, I'll leave it at that, really. I'll just let that I'll let the mechanics get on with that job, um, and we'll continue on. I think there is the contract for Balgazar. Hopefully she she accepts. Okay, next day. Come on, please. Please accept. Please accept. Uh, ooh, okay. Let's go back to the negotiation table. Okay, she liked this status. Didn't like the wage. She was fine with these two. So we've only got one strike left. Otherwise, she's leaving. So we need to make sure she's actually happy about it. So how much we we were pay, we were paying her 388. So I how much did I offer before? I offered three. Okay, so I'm going to offer... Three, four, two. So a little bit of a bump up from the last contract. Uh, short contract, she was okay with that. Relatively happy, relatively happy, relatively happy. Far below expectation. So I'm going to go with that. I'm hoping that's it. Otherwise, we are screwed and we don't have her for next season. So I really hope that's fine. You know what? I'll put a little tiny bonus just in case. Little... Little tiny bonus. She can get fourth or above, fifth or above, fourth or above. She can get those two, just to try and sweeten the deal a little bit. But let's just hope that works out. <laughs> I really do. Right, contract proposal. Please accept. Please, yes. There we go. She has accepted that. Awesome. I'll sign that off. Thank you very much. Right. I'm happy that was done. Equal status between uh, for her contract. So good stuff. Good stuff. It's still got the matter of Cruz still thinks he's the first driver, but. Uh, uh, frankly, we stopped caring about him too much. Um, in terms of how everything's going for the parts, uh, improvement's going well. I'll have to change it to performance because this was pretty decent. Um, so we're going to try and push for the performance because obviously if we can get this as max as we can, that will mean that's the best part that gets carried forward. See, at the moment it's 407, so it's better anyway. But if we get that to 428, that's going to be even better uh, if you can see that. So um, that's what we're pushing for. And obviously, as I mentioned, the other part that we're designing, the front wing, that's going to take still one more day there. So, we're going to travel to the Ardennes in terms of what we're going to go for. Um, well, crucial top speed, low speed, also crucial. Acceleration, somewhat useful. Um, so, what should we go for? Should we go big and just go ambitious and maybe hope we could get first place, potentially? I'm not too sure. We could we could still end up in the green anyway if we go for fourth or above. It's just about how uh, kind of um, confident we are going into this race. Uh, low tire wear, low, uh, high fuel burn. Balcazar's got a good trait for low, lower fuel burn than most, so yeah, why don't we try it? Why don't we try it? We'll go a little bit, go a little bit high, and let's hope the luck goes in our favour, and we can try and get in the green again with that first place objective. And in terms of the parts we're doing, again, not going to use any of the risky parts because I don't want them banned just before the season uh, ends, because obviously I want to keep them for the next season. So we'll go with pretty much, I think, the same exact parts we went with the last two races. No need to really change a winning formula. We could go with this new rear wing, but the reliability is very, very poor at the moment. It's not good enough for me personally. I think that will uh, that will need fixing in the middle of the race if it's uh, if we take that through. So I'm just going to stick with what we have for now. Suspension-wise, I will also not risk it. I don't want to risk it. I'd rather just take forward these two lesser parts and just make sure we fully have this part for next season so that's what i'm going to go for and as per usual i'll let you know what happens in the practice practice is going to be all clear qualifying a little bit cloudy and the race all clear so it seems like a pretty straightforward race weekend belgium obviously a very long lap so actually at the very end don't expect me to have quite a lot of levels as the last time we're at usa where you pretty much have we had one level of everything didn't we in usa so i think the polar opposite will happen in belgium just because it's such a long track with 15 seconds to go, are we going to make the pixels? Come on, level three. Oh my, you're kidding me. Oh, <laughs> look how close that is. Literally, give me five more seconds of that session and I could have got level three. You've got to be joking me. Ah, <laughs> oh, so annoying, so annoying. And that's probably just because it took me probably one, one extra 
in lap sequence to get Balcazar's setup. And even then, I don't know what this final setup was like. Balcazar, very, very tricky to actually set up once again. Even though she is the better driver, she's always a lot trickier to actually get the setup right for compared to Cruz. That's one, one thing Cruz definitely does have over her. He's a lot easier just to get this setup done straight away to a good 95. I think I even had him at 98%, I think it was, uh, for Cruz. But I think Balcazar, I have no idea what the setup was. Oh, God, wow. That's annoying. So we ended up with 91. My second one was 93. We, we actually went down for these two and then slowly went back up. But that appears to be the better one, unfortunately. Um, That's okay. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was the only point. We may as well just stick with that. That's uh, that's quite annoying. I just don't know. She's very, very picky with this. Setup. Whereas with Cruz, look at that. Took me the third attempt and we got 98%. So uh, he's very, very easy to do in terms of that. But uh, anyway, nonetheless, let's go to Knowledge. Super soft level two. Uh, and obviously we don't have anything else to really choose from. Unfortunately, that will be only level two in the race as well. So it might be a bit tricky to actually get this first place. So maybe this was the wrong race to choose this. But anyway, we'll try and get 900k. Probably not going to happen, but let's just hope they can get somewhere in the region of P6-ish to like P12. That's usually the, the same range that we've we been getting for the last few rounds. So let's see that instant result come in. Please, oh racing gods, please give us a miracle perhaps and give us first place. If not, maybe just P4 at least. Come on, please. Please. Here we go. Oh, dear lord. 9th and 15th. It's a bad one. It's a bad one. Um, Okay, that's going to be a very, very tricky to get her first place. Even even tricky to get 4th place, potentially, with someone like Cruz. Balcazar, potentially, yes. But uh, with Cruz, that's going to be another difficult race for him, just like it was at USA. We may have to change the strategy a little bit around and go aggressive with Cruz as well. Because last time, remember, in USA, because he was at the back or towards the back, I thought I'd go with the medium tyre at the USA Grand Prix, and it really didn't work out. Our car just doesn't work well with the, the, the harder compound. Our, our car responds very, very well to the soft tyres, not so much in the hard tyres. They're just very, very useless. Um, so in terms of the strategy today... Um, our tyres will go how many? 12 to 14 laps. So that's pretty much half of the Grand Prix. So if we just fuel up adequately, we could make this entire Grand Prix. So, uh, what should we do? Should we fill up a little bit more? Because obviously we're going to go aggressive with Balcazar and Cruz. So we are going to burn more fuel than we'll actually have to, to muster. So we need a lot more fuel than we actually need to get to the end of this Grand Prix. So I'm going to go with 16 laps of fuel. We have to go a little bit higher because the fuel burn is so high. We have to account for the fact we'll be using a bit of burn uh, fuel mixture in this first stint and go, you know, and kind of adjust for that adequately. So that's what we're going to go with. Trying to go till uh, at least lap 12-ish, lap 11 with this first set of tyres. Uh, I think the more important thing we'll, uh, to kind of focus on will be the fuel, actually. We can actually make that fuel go the distance because we will be obviously going with attack and overtake quite a bit uh, at the start of the Grand Prix. So, yeah, this is going to be a tough race, I think. It's going to be a tough race. But anyway, let's try. Let's see what happens. Right, here we go to five red lights. The second last race of this season to the Belgium Grand Prix. Grom, Grand Prix, and we're off from 9th place and 15th. Balcazar's up into 8th, so that's a good, good start from her. Meanwhile, with Cruz, he's still in a lowly 16th place, not being the best for him. And also, Balcazar there, keeping up in 8th, actually, as they go up the Faker uh, Rouge down the fake Kemmel Straight, which includes a chicane here at the end. But we're going to speed this up as per usual and try and see the pace of Balcazar setting a purple first sector, as all of them would, really, honestly. She's down to 9th, though, so let's just kind of see how this goes. Hopefully, she does eventually speed up. But you can see straight away the tyre temps aren't shooting up, even though we're pushing hard with the tyres. So uh, it, it is definitely going to take a while for these tyres to wear out. But we're going to go out to pushing anyway, just to kind of make sure no one locks up and really takes the life out of the tyres. But we'll keep it on overtake mode on the engine, because we do obviously have the engine wear for it. So, yeah, let's just see how this goes. And the moment she's back on to 8th place, Cruz is still in 16th, unfortunately. So... Tough times for him. Tough times. Let's actually focus on him a little bit. Let's uh, see what we could do here. You see, he's still... He overtakes He overtakes for 15th, but then he's just not really getting away from this pack. He needs to be doing so. He needs to exactly be doing that. Getting away from this pack. But look at that. Okay, only now is he really getting away. Maybe we need to go uber, uber aggressive with Cruz and maybe even do a, um, do a two-stop with him. Because it looks like maybe a one stops possible with Balcazar. With potentially only a only a one only a two stop a two stop for Cruz and a one stop for Balcazar. Maybe that's the way to go. Go really aggressive with him. 
Right, and a lap four sit rep. Cruz here is catching up to this pack. You can see there's a huge squabble up ahead in this little region here. So hopefully Cruz can overtake them. But if we go to Balcazar, sixth place. Quite a bit of a gap from sixth to seventh. You can see Shah there on the soft tires. Balcazar tries to go around the outside of fifth there. Uh, so she's going well at the moment. Tire wear is okay compared to everyone else, to be honest. So doing a pretty decent job here. Obviously, we're burning a lot more fuel than them. Actually, we might actually want to go to overtake mode here to try and get past this guy. Going to neutral on the tire wear, though, on the driving style and try and get past fifth place. Because if, if we can try and get to fifth or fourth, that'd be a good region, I think. Then we'd pr probably be good because there's a bit of clean air here. You can see uh, past this fourth place car. So once we get in that clean air, potentially we could use the potential we've got. We just need to make sure uh, Balcazar actually makes the overtake. But at the moment, she's struggling to do so. As the two up ahead, though, go side by side. So maybe Balcazar could use that to advantage. Come on, please. We need to try and get the pass. Then what's the lap times like? 146.0, 146.3. So she is going faster, but just not fast enough to really, you know, get past them and just get that move done. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll for now let go of her. Let's look back at Cruz, who's pushing hard still and wearing the tires out way more than uh, Balcazar is, but obviously he is trying to push on, and it's working actually, to be fair, because he's up into 12th, whereas he was down in 16th, so, and now he's up into 11th as I speak about that, so, yeah, looks like his uber aggressive strategy is going to work out maybe, and try and get him back into the points, um, so that's going to be a two-stop for him for sure, I think, so we'll just continue like, oh my, how's he crashed again? You really are just a Maldonado, aren't you? You really just are. You really just are. Sorry, everyone. My bad. Well, you know what? Fuck you. Well, we're only focusing on Balcazar now. Just shows Cruz really just... I didn't even have him on attack. I had him on pushing. And he crashed. Great. 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 Just great. Great. What's that? Two crashes in two episodes? Really good. Or well, three episodes, I should say. But it's in, like, you know, two distance of episodes. Great one, great one, mate. Really top, top class job you are. You are absolute. I, why, I really honestly at this point, it's, I think it's worth it to break the 4 million contract. I think it might be worth it. 4 million just to get him off our backs. Ah, oh, honestly, fuck's sake. Okay, come on, Balcazar. Come on. You're our only hope. You need, oh, she's flat spotted a tyre. That took a little bit of tyre wear out, but not too much. Come on, you're our only hope in this race. You need to overtake fifth and fourth and get in some clean air here. Come on, she's still so close to fifth place. She comes up to the chicane, and the pace is good. Looks like fifth place is going to make a pit stop, though. So we'll be able to get a bit of clean air, maybe try and make the overcut work, potentially. But, um, you know, the pace is dropping off a little bit because we've been stuck behind them. But so far, we have been doing better lap times until this last lap. So a little bit annoying, but I think it's probably going to be one more lap, and then we're going to come in. So that's going to be one lap of overcut here, I think. Yeah, I think it's going to have to be that. So push and attack on this lap and come in at the end of this lap. So we've only made it nine laps, unfortunately. So another set of super soft tyres. Do we go even even more aggressive than we're going to go with uh, Cruz and try and make that work? It's such a long lap, though. That Will it work out? Will it work out? Um, I just don't know, really. I just don't know. I can't tell. Park condition's okay, but... If we want to go to the end, that's a lot of fuel to carry. That's a lot of fuel to carry. And that's a lot to ask of these tyres. So if we're saying they're going to go nine laps, that's all lap 18. And then there'll be six laps left in this Grand Prix. So you could also make an argument for the two-stop working quite well here. So in that case, should we just go fuck it and just go for it? I mean, it doesn't look like we're going to get first. I think we're trying to aim for the fourth or above and the podium potentially. So let's just go for that, I guess. So fast pit stop. We'll fill up for nine laps. There's going to be a pretty fast pit stop, actually. Only uh, four seconds there. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to commit to it. We'll commit to the two-stop then. We'll commit to the two-stop. I think that's going to work out better for us. Right, she comes in here. So it's going to be a bit of an undercut lap, actually, on the front runners. But uh, overcut lap on the person we were battling. And it looks like it sort of worked. Because even though it was a bad refueling, it was a decent, uh, decent, decent effort. Because we've got ahead of that person, Clark Smith. So now we push on, really. Push and keep it in overtake mode for now, actually. We'll probably put it down to uh, high because I need to worry about the 62%. So I think the we'll, maximal go on engine now is high. And we'll go overtake only if it's crucial because I really don't want that engine to wear out completely by the end of this. But uh, yeah, we'll continue on like this. But we're committed now to the two-stop, really. Well, lap, third, uh, lap 12, 13 laps remaining. We are catching first place. You can see clearly what their strategy is. This guy in first place, Gonzalez, he's neutral on the tyres. He's low on fuel. I think he's definitely going to try and go to the end here because he went 11 laps. 
So if he can stretch that to 12, he's going to the end. Although now he is pushing the fuel, so maybe that's because of us. So maybe we might actually force Gonzalez into his two-stop. But I think a few of these guys are going to try the one-stop with the super soft tires, potentially. But we're going to try and force Gonzalez's hands here a little bit. And we are attacking quite a bit. We'll go down to neutral now and actually maybe go conservative. Try and bring the tire wear down just a tad. But we are still pushing higher with the fuel. Right, lap 15 at the moment. It's uh, very kind of strange at the moment. I can't really tell how this race is going to pan out. It looks like all of us have the same sort of tyre wear, but oh my god, it's starting to rain. Okay, spanner in the works. Maybe a blessing in disguise. This is a blessing in disguise. I completely did not expect rain because it did say sunny for the entire race. Okay, interesting, interesting. Could it be time for intermediates, I wonder? Is Gonzalez going to pit? Is, is, is Gonzalez going to pit? Let's see, let's see. No pit symbol at the moment, so it looks like maybe not. It's a, it's a very long lap, though, to be out there on the dry tyres. And by the time you get to this portion, you can see on the very next lap, lap 16, it's definitely time for Inters. So do we risk it and come in a little bit early for the Inters, I wonder? I don't... I think it might be worth it, you know. I think it might be worth it. Gonzalez is not going to come in, it looks like. So I think we should do the opposite of what, what Gonzalez is doing, just to risk it a little bit. I mean, that's how we got in second place. We risked it a little bit, trying to risk the two-stop. So, yeah, let's come in a little bit early, potentially, because I think it, I think we could benefit. So how many laps at the end? Nine laps left. So let's go, no, let's go 8.95. So underfuel a little bit, but that's because we're not going to use the high-rich mix, because you can see part condition our engine is 44 percent so no way am i actually going to go and use high mixture i don't think so we're going to underfuel a little bit basically just to force ourselves to not use that mixture fast pit stop let's risk it let's go let's do it let's do it in for inters come on come on mistake on the refuel but good on the tires we come out here let's push the tires and let's push on the outlap Let's just hope that... Yeah, look, everyone came in, actually. Gonzalez was the only one who didn't come in. So this might mean we are leading the Grand Prix by the time we come round. Let's hope and pray. This could be a fantastic strategy if it pulls off here. So, it looks like Gonzalez, the jammy bastard, has somehow managed to still come out in first place. So we are going to be in second at the moment. Although, pace is pretty decent. And Balcazar does have a trait of being good in the wet. So... I'm hoping she can make this to the end at the moment. Uh, we were on low fuel for a sec because I wanted to save a little bit and then go on medium and then potentially I'll have a tiny bit to maybe use here and there at the very end. But seven laps remaining and she's got a good pace here. You can see doing 145s, uh, still going up and up and up in terms of personal bests. But let's see. Third place is catching her though, unfortunately. And the entire time you can see the entire field is going to serve and neutral. I'm on pushing and neutral and Gonzalez there was on attack and uh, push. And now he's on, uh, you know, the two orange uh, states. So he's, uh, unlike everyone else, he's really pushing it a lot right now at the moment. Although it looks like all these guys are going in a bit of phases here. It's quite actually interesting to see the AI. They go in very re weird kind of phases, whereas as I go quite consistent in terms of what I'm doing with the drivers. They, got, like, they like to go in different kind of phases of how they're actually pushing their drivers. But at the moment, with four laps to go, five laps to go actually, um, we're looking okay. But third place is slowly catching us, so I'm a little bit wary of that. And also the rain is coming down, actually. So it could be time for dry tyres eventually in this Grand Prix. So actually, you may want to keep on sticking with this medium fuel just to actually make sure we don't actually have to make any fuel in the pit stop, potentially. If we do make a late pit stop, don't have to actually put any fuel in. But it looks like it's not going to get dry enough. So actually, it looks like maybe it might be a, tr a very tricky situation right at the end where everyone's out on a drying track on Inters. And there may be some uh, little mistakes here and there. But I'm just hoping Balcazar can pull through here. At the moment, tyre temps are okay. We're going down to neutral for now to save them a little bit. But uh, uh, I'm just a bit nervous. Third place is really catching on to us. So it looks like we may have a bit of a defensive scrap here to keep this second place. Right, as we've got two laps remaining. You can see the pace of Balcazar is improving. She's continuing to go faster, but third place is going even faster than her. And so I'm getting very, very nervous. This is going to be very, very close if we can actually keep third place. You can see third place right there. Right there. Ah, oh, this is going to be so, so close. Come on, Balcazar, please. Even if we lose third, okay, we still have a podium, but it'd be even better to get second place. That would be so, so nice just for the points as well because obviously the points are a little bit uh, exponential when you get into the podium positions going one, two, three. Final lap of the Grand Prix. We do have some engine wear to maybe use, so let's go high and take a look at this engine wear and make sure we're not churning these out. 
Oh, okay, 30%. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Keep on pushing the engine a little bit. We can make it to the end now on 30% engine wear. We can make it. We can make it. Come on. Come on. Please keep second. So, so close behind us. So, so close. Third place is right there. He's probably going to try and make a move right at the end of the Grand Prix. You can see first place has got an issue on their car as well. But it's not going to be first place. But it is going to be second. Come on. Across the line. There we go. Balcazar is going to get second place. That was a little bit nerve-wracking right at the end. I really thought we were going to lose that there, the death of it. But no, Balcazar, brilliant second place. Missed out, unfortunately, on first. Missed out on first and the money, obviously. But second place, pretty decent, you know, considering where we were at the start, ninth place. Um, so, yeah, we used the rain to our advantage. Bit risky on the strategy with the two-stop. But it looks like that two-stop really worked out in our favour, actually, because it got us into second place before the rain came. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, and what can I say with Cruz? absolute spoon absolute spoon of a driver <laughs> so there you have it six points in the bag second place silver trophy there so balcazar maintained second in the championship so it looks like for two years in a row she may keep second place in the championship which is pretty uh, pretty nice and in the constructors we're, we're really doing a good job to consistently just try and keep this gap nice and put to third place 76 to 64 we're looking good for the final race of the season to keep this second place and obviously get that prize money that we so desire but um what can I say once again with Cruz? Really, re real dilemma. Do I burn the four million and get a driver that doesn't crash twice in a season? I just don't know. I just don't know. But we lose money there, unfortunately, because we did not meet our sponsor objective. So probably a lesson to learn there. I don't think we're going to go for first place right at the end there. But our front wing is built now. So that's good to see. We're going to have repairs, obviously, on our car. So let's go. Okay, we've got a must respond interview there. Must respond, except interview must be delighted with Balcazar. Absolutely great result for us. Yes, it is. And with Cruz, wasn't a great drive. Um, yeah, it was a very poor weekend. I need to motivate him a little bit, so I'll bring the morale down. He's got low, low morale at the moment. And to be honest, it's deserved because he's really just not doing a very good job. So I'm going to make sure the car's repaired. Pause it here. And then we, oh, we got new sponsors, actually. So let's take a look at that. We've got a new sponsor, Play Sports. Seventh or above, we get 600,000. That's pretty decent, I would say. That's pretty decent. I'm going to accept that offer. We could use it at the beginning of the season, you know, because at the beginning of the season, we won't do as well as we're doing right now. So that might be nice to have in our back pocket. But uh, now, in terms of improving the parts, we're going to... Uh, we're going to continue improving the reliability of that. But we've got the new front wing, obviously. So we need to... That's got a risk level of medium. But obviously, we're going to improve the performance and the reliability of those two. But we're going to go all towards performance, actually. Because obviously, we don't really care too much about these uh, the reliability. Because we're not going to use the parts uh, at the end of the season, are we? So that's all fine. But um, yeah. Do let me know what we do about Cruz. Do let me know. But anyway, we're going to design a new part. So, we've already got a nice high front wing, low speed. Do we design, design another one potentially or new brakes actually? Should we go for new brakes? New brakes, what can we do? Plus 20, plus 40, oh no, that's during qualifying. Plus 30, plus 50, okay, plus 50 and minus 2, okay. And then should we go for plus 10 and reliability? So, the, our current best is that and our current, our current potential is going to be that actually. So, that's not worth it. That's not worth it. That's going to be equal right now. So we actually can't do much. Our brakes are actually being dragged down by the fact we don't have the HQ because our, our telemetry sensor is the one that increases... It actually increases gearbox. So the, the other building we did not design was the brakes, the R&D uh, factory. That's 8 million to, to do. So actually, it might be worth then just looking at the gearbox then. So if we design a new gearbox, we may be actually able to do stuff. So plus 25 to max, plus 15 to max, plus 20... Uh, plus 25 plus reliability. Yeah. Plus, yeah. Okay. So that's going to be... Our current best is that. And again, that's good. Ah. Hmm. We've already got the best part in these positions. We've already got the best part in those positions. Suspension then? Suspension? Surely we can improve on suspension quite big time. So, suspension, medium plus, minus 5 in the red zone. Uh, plus 25 to max, plus 15 to max. And then plus 50... Plus two days. That's a that's a big improvement there. That's a big improvement. So we're going to spend that money on this new suspension part. So it looks like we're reaching kind of development walls on the gearbox and the brakes at the moment because of our, head, our HQ. So next season, probably to the light of some of you guys, it might be time to actually fully focus on maybe upgrading our buildings, going to a little bit of debt potentially, maybe next season to try and do that. But okay, let's continue on. Let's wait for the design of everything else to be built. 
Right, we've got that new suspension part built, improving the parts. Let's just take a look at a bit of a status report on this. We've got three away from suspension. We are just a few five away from that, and we are still a good way away from that. We're like 10 away. So we're going to keep those performance uh, tallies on. Uh, we've got that new suspension now, so let's add that to the tally. So we've actually got two risky parts there. So let's add the performance, and let's add the reliability. Move that to that. Full performance, actually, so we're not going to care about this. That's going to get th done 13 days after the race. That's pretty good. Uh, okay, and let's build another new part because actually we're very, very close to the next Grand Prix. So let's continue building. Can we build another set of suspension, really, and even push it even further? We can't, un we can't unlock great of suspension yet. We don't have the actual... It's locked. We need... What do we need to actually get the, the great factor? I think it must be HQ again, surely. Uh, I'm probably going to guess. Because that bra that's brakes, that's engine. Is there anything? Well, I can't see the unlock require. I can't see what benefits us. So I don't know at the moment what actually controls suspension. I'm guessing it's going to be, well, it's going to be something. Probably the road car factory, I would say. Maybe I don't know. Um, I, I can't tell. I can't see what's actually going to do it. Handling development center. So we need also. Is that not something we have? Handling development. Oh, it's this one. Okay, so it's this one. So that's brakes, that's engine, that's uh, that's suspension. So I don't even have that available to purchase. And these two, well, we've only got 4.8 million. So in terms of what we are going to spend on the rest of the season, front wing, let's take, take another look at it. Is there any way we can improve the front wing that we've got already? Uh, that's our current best, our potential. No, see, the front wing, we can't produce any better front wings at the moment. Can we produce any better... What gets us the great rear wing? I don't even know. Knowledge available is just not available. So we're kind of hitting a, a maximum of the rear wing. So we can't do rear wing. We can't do gearbox, I don't think, maybe. Oh, can we do? Okay, now we've got great gearbox. I don't think that was there before, was it? Um, so, plus 70. Wow. That's a, that's a big step. Plus 70. Then we add 15 to max. And then we add... Plus 10 like that, or 25 to max. Okay. Are we... Okay, so I'm going to look at that. So that was uh, 1, 3, and 2. 1, 3, and 2. Are we improving a gearbox at the moment? No, we're not. Our best is 44. So we can get that gearbox a little bit higher. We can get that gearbox a little bit higher. So that's 1, 2, and 3. So I'll be a little bit higher, and it can get, can get really decent. Okay, I'm going to spend that. 1.4 million. Quite a costly investment, but... Once we improve that gearbox to max, that's going to be really, really decent. And now it is time for the last race in the season. Guildford, the British Grand Prix. Um, we have got a bonus of the British Grand Prix, wasn't it? I think this was a bonus. I think so. If I look back at the sponsors, wasn't PlaySport giving us a bonus? 2.2 .2 bonus, actually. So for uh, for what we're doing in terms of what for the, what the sponsor wants, 7th or above, we could get 1.3 million. So no-brainer. I'm going to take that. That's going to be great if we can get that, potentially. So part fitting are pretty much the same we're going with because obviously we're not going to use any of the risky parts because I don't want any any chance of us banning the part right at the end of the season. So we're just going to stick with what we have, really. It's going to be clear in practice. Heavy rain for qualifying. And then the race is going to be clear. So, uh, maybe potential to take qualifying. We'll see about it. But let's see how practice goes first. The same drill. I'll let you know how it goes at the end of it. But hopefully it's going to be a smooth sailing. And we get a nice level 3 for the race and the tyre. Right, we've got just about one minute left as we come through. We've got level three on soft tires, level three on race trim. You can see we are going to hopefully get level one on qualifying trim, which would be great to try and get a good result. Enough to get that money, obviously, for our sponsors. Oh, this is going to be close. Don't do this again. Don't do this to me. There we go. Come on. No! You What? No way. No way. You're kidding me. That's done. That's finished. What? <laughs> Oh, game, you're killing me. Come on. What's that? Like half a pixel? Half a pixel. And we didn't get level one qualifier. Oh, fuck's sake, man. Oh, wow. That's annoying. <laughs> right. <laughs> this game hates me for qualifying. I'm never going to. I'm never going to. Never going to do well in qualifying, am I? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, what a. What a. As Tom would say, what a cock tease. Wow. Great stuff. Right. Anyway, then, so soft tire and some random other perk. God damn it. Um, car setup's all good. Both of them very, very nice. Um, so in terms of 
uh, you can see Balcazar 97%. I think Cruz is, I think, 95. Yeah, 95. Decent enough for him. I was quite happy I got Balcazar up to 97. We'll take the instant result. It's going to be raining in this session, actually. So, actually, you know what? Because it's raining, should we risk it? It's the final. It's the final race of the season. So, season. Should we just go for it? Should we just take qualifying for the last race, just because it's the last one? Just a bit of special, special stuff in it. Should we do that? Because I think maybe maybe we could spring a surprise if we take it. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Balcazar's also good in the wet, so potentially she could spring a very surprise lap in there. Let's let's see. Let's see. So the, the session's going to start. Right the death. Let's pause it. Okay. The water's on track. We could potentially just get in one lap. Potentially just get in one lap. Potentially right in there. So let's do that. So send them out. Tartar is soft. Cast it up as it was. Send out. Send out right now. It's all fine. Water level. Yeah, water level obviously. Yeah. Okay. So send out. Go do your lap. Let's send them both at the same time, unfortunately, but we're going to have to just risk it here a little bit. So let's slow down Cruz. Let's speed up Balcazar a little bit. The rain is already coming down quite a bit. Yeah, it's time to come in. Time to come in. Not even worth it. Not even worth it. Bringing both of them in straight away. What a difference that made. Right, it's full wet tyre time. It is full wet tyre. Fair enough. Okay, send Balcazar out. Full wet. Let's actually check on track. Um, okay, what's a good gap? Let's wait for a good gap. Rain's going to continue on for a while. Okay, good gap now. Send them out. Wet tire, send out. Yep, and then I'll send out Cruz a little bit afterwards. I'll send them out after this gap here. Water's going to continue on track, so that's fine. So once this gap's out, okay, I'll send Cruz out now. Wet tire, send out. Speed Balcazar up. Okay, cold and perfect. Okay, fair enough. Got a pretty good region for Cruz at the moment as he comes through on his uh, on his uh, outlap. Come on. Perfect and cold. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. Sun's come out, though. So it's starting to dry, actually, now. It's starting to dry. Do we even have enough water to make the... Oh, my God. This is so annoying. It's going to be dry. It's going to be too... It's going to be dry eventually. Although, Balcazar has set a purple lap time. Comes through. Oh, pole position. Okay. Cruz, is he setting... He's setting greens. Green and green. I can't see the set times, though. But he's going to set faster lap times than these guys. May as well finish the lap. May as well finish the lap. Comes through. Fifth. Okay. Not too bad. But it's now going to be dry and sunny. So they need to speed things up. And we need to come in. Oh, it's going to be close. It's a one. Oh, it's going to be so, so close. for the, If, if uh, Balcazar even has enough time to go out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Speed things up. Speed. Come in already. Hurry up, girl. Come on. Alright, soft tyre, same set of soft tyres we used before. Speed that up. Cruz is not going to have enough time to come out, so he's going to be fifth at best. Balcazar might just have enough time to come here uh, to set a lap time. Okay, perfect and overheated. Comes across the line. Please be bang on. Oh, no, she did not cross the line in time. So it's going to be second because Saar set a better, faster lap on the intermediates. Cruz still managing in seventh place. Although, look at this. Ah, oh, it's a travesty. All the dry time runners will come through. Balcazar, is, is she even going to make seventh place? I don't think she is because there's two runners left in this Grand Prix to come through. Nope, they pit in. Is this last person going to knock us out? Eighth place? No, intermediates. Yes. So Balcazar will get seventh at least. Cruz was 11th. So, overall, not a bad session. Not a bad session, but... Oh, we were on pole for a bit there, but... The intermediates and then eventually the, the, the dry time at, right at the very end caught us out there. But at least we got the seventh place. So we do get the money for qualifying. So yeah, we haven't got that in a while. So that's good to see. At the final race, we did get the money for that qualifying. And our best lap time was on wet. <laughs> right, race time. Obviously, we're going to go for soft tires and race trim. Thankfully, we've got level three for those two. In terms of the weather, is there going to be any rain forecast? No, there is not for now. Uh, car set up in that, in that case. We're going to go nice and aggressive. Ten laps. 10 laps, yeah, 10, 10, 6, or probably 6, 10, probably, no, probably more like 7, and then whatever's the rest, so that's probably like 19 divided by 2, so an uneven number, so we're going to underfuel for 10 laps, we'll fuel cruise for 11 laps, trying to go one lap longer, uh, we'll go attack and overtake on the very, very start, 
And that's how it's going to be. But seventh or above, and we get a nice bit of dosh. And basically, we just try and do our best uh, to get enough points to secure the second place. But I don't really have any worries about that. So really, just trying to do the best we can and enjoy the final race. Right, five red lights for the British Grand Prix. The final race in the season. Five red lights are out, and we're underway. It's a poor, poor start from Balcazar. It's actually had a shocking start, but she gets it back maybe up into seventh. Yeah, okay, she's in eighth, actually. Got overtaken there into turn one. So Balcazar, pretty poor start from her, actually. Cruz, not too bad. Eleventh. Oh, wow. Cruz jumped up into tenth. Wow. What a start from Cruz. Jumped up right next to Balcazar. Two of them side by side there for a bit. So pretty decent start for him. Okay, let's speed this up and let's see. Come on, Balcazar. A bit of a train here. Come on. Let's get a move on, shall we? Right, so at the moment, Balcazar making her way up now. She's up in sixth place. You can see Cruz has dropped down to 12th. So he's not getting any higher at the moment. But both of them still on attack. As you can see, the tar temps really are at a very decent region. So well, we can probably keep it in push right to the end of the, of the stint, to be honest. Because these tar temps are really taking quite a lot of time to actually go up here. Uh, in terms of the wet uh, forecast, doesn't look like weather forecast, I should say. Uh, doesn't look like there's gonna be any going to be... Uh, I can't speak right now at the moment. I'm mixing my words. Doesn't seem like there's going to be any water to come. Any rain to come. So that's fine. Balcazar right up the chaff for fifth place. Come on. Oh, so, so close into, t into the last corner there. Right, we're on lap six at the moment. Balcazar has got up into fifth place. You can see she's catching fourth and third there. And the tyre wear is pretty much the same as everyone else. But obviously, we're burning a lot more fuel here. You can see before the yellow flags, you can see we're going a lot more aggressive than everyone else. And uh, Balcazar overtook someone just as the yellow flags ended. What a move there. Two places in the span of a few corners. She's up into the podium places. Lovely stuff. Virtual safety car. Okay, good time to save some fuel. Good time to sa save some tyre wear. Oh, wow. No, what? Nah, no way. I can't believe this. I, nah, I'm done, I'm... How? How? How does he crash twice in an episode? How? How is that, how shit are you? Cruz! God damn it, you're giving me fucking... I'm gonna have a heart attack one day because of Cruz. The four million doesn't seem so bad now. I'm gonna say that right now. Minus four million, worth it to take this crap driver out of my team. I didn't even notice it until now. The virtual safety car was because of you. Oh my God, what an imbecile. Right, right, again, focusing on one driver. Right, continue on for one more lap, I'd say. Yeah, one more lap in it here with the fuel we've got. So push and attack on this lap. So this will be bang on for the tyre wear and the fuel. We're catching up to first place here, actually. We're right there in third. There's second place. Up into second. We'll pit this lap now. Fuel options. Soft tyres. We're going to fuel up for... Okay, we did eight laps. So let's go nine laps here, I would say. 9.3, 10.3. Let's go 9.3 there. Uh, pit strategy fast. Let's come in then this lap. This is going to be perfect in terms of the fuel. Right, she'll come in. The others won't, actually. First place continued on there. But Balgazar, good refuel. Good pit stop. Nice job, lads. Nice job into pushing onto high. And we'll keep it like this for now. Oh, Balgazar already around the outside. Oh, lovely. Lovely. I'm loving this. New contract time for Balgazar. She's performing very, very well. I can I can just feel the morale. It's very, very high at the moment. Will Balgazar, look at that. Effortless move. Up into third at the moment. Up into second as people make their pit stop. Shah continues on. What a madman. Shah's continuing on this Grand Prix. What a numpty. He's gone very, very long. Oh, wait, what? Okay, what's that? Monroe. Ooh, who's that? Monroe caused an accident, so she's got to drive through. Okay. Um, but, yeah, looking very, very snazzy. Shah's going to come in. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Up into first. Looking good. Looking decent. Love it. This is just beautiful to witness. Look at the gap Balcazar has to Shah. This is... This is Balcazar showing her true potential here. Uh, a Vettel-style performance, a Hamilton-style performance, and a, uh, being Spanish, a Fernando Alonso-style performance. Look at this. Look at the gap she's got. It's ridiculous. She's embarrassing everyone. This is crazy. She is doing an absolute worldly job at the moment. 67% engine wear. We're on high at the moment. We're good. We're look I'm going to cross my arms. I'm not even going to touch the mouse. We're good. We're good. I'll just have to sit back and watch this. Beautiful, beautiful stuff.
Right, I think this is probably going to be the next lap we're going to pit in. We've got 1.8 of fuel, so if I put it on high, we should have just about enough to make it round an entire lap there on high. So we're going to attack on the tyres. I'm going to come in this lap. 10 laps remaining. Perfect. So, uh, there we go. Well, when we cross the line, it's going to be, uh, okay, so 10.4, 9. Point, is that going to get us to the end of the race? 9.4? Yeah, 9.4. I will be a little bit... I want to be a little bit cautious with the fuel and put in just a tiny bit more, just in case we need to use it. So 10.4 seems like a good amount. 61% uh, of that there. It's fine. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. All's dandy in our world. Comes in. There we go. Lovely. Perfect. Pit stop. Good, good. The team are working like clockwork here. Lovely stuff. Love it. Back into first place. We made a pit stop and we're already in first place still. What a performance Balcazar's giving us today, right now. She is absolutely on it like a car bonnet. Love it, love it, love it. This is this is peak pinnacle Balcazar. Look at this. Look at the lap times. 111s compared to <laughs> 117s, 113, 17. Oh, it's a it's an absolute shambles. We are absolutely mocking everyone. I now know why Mercedes and Red Bull and they're uh, you know uh, you know separate eras. Just like the dominance. It's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. Just humiliating and embarrassing everyone. And I know how the Mercedes felt in 2014. It's wonderful, really. 2013 Red Bull. It's wonderful. Just cross your arms. Christian Horner probably just crossed his arms. Just laid back, relaxed, and uh, enjoyed his cars going round and first. Plenty of sponsor time here. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, purple second sector comes through. Oh, that's not a fast after the Grand Prix? Really? That's surprising. That's not a fast after the Grand Prix. I thought we could maybe get the fastest lap with her. Or unless she said it already. I don't know. But tire wear's all good. Attack to the end. Fuel's all good. Last lap of the Grand Prix. Last few corners. Attack across the line. And the fast lap goes to Costa. But it is going to be first place. What a dominant victory. 48 seconds. Girl, you have done amazing. Balcazar, I, I, I'm shedding a tear here. That, that was amazing work. What a final race for us. What a final race. That is, that is so, so fun. <laughs> what a great Grand Prix that was. Awesome stuff. Awesome. And Cruz, just fuck off. Honestly, fuck off. Look at that. Lovely stuff. Two stop with the two soft tyres. Scrutineering. Risk of rule break, none. We didn't even use any risky parts there. And we've got a nice 20 points in the bag, actually. Looks like it was double points there in the last race. Double points. Nice. So first place in the uh, in the race. So that's, I think, what? Our third win of the season, I think? Our third win with Balcazar as well. Her third win. So in the in the end, Balcazar again gets second place in the championship. So two years, in, two years running, she gets second place. So here's hoping next season, knock on wood, can be the time for Balcazar, for Chica Balcazar, to get first place in this championship and win it. But you can see there the constructors, huge gap actually at the end of it to get second place there. But a huge gap to first place, unfortunately. So we still have a lot of work to do. And uh, you know what? Uh, you guys let me know in the comments below your final verdict. But I really do think it's time to, you know, just bite the bullet with the 4 million. Fire Cruz and make sure we get two good drivers that can get us two good finishing positions to make sure we can try and get this gap. Because I'm getting a bit annoyed of being best of the rest by such a mile. But being so far away from first there, to be honest. But guys, what a nice episode to record for the final episode of that season. So smash that like button. Let's try and get over 1,000 likes. You guys have been amazing for the support on the last two episodes. And we've done that each time. Let's try it again for a third time. Lucky. But uh, yeah, absolutely amazing end to end the season. 1.1 million in the bank there. Lovely, lovely stuff. Just great. Just great to see. And uh, so yeah, there you go. There is the 2019 winner. Not us. Valan Racing won the Constructors as well. So, uh, yeah, congratulations to them. Hopefully, we'll be holding this trophy next season, I'm hoping. But we'll see about that. But that is the season over with. And so, it is time to go on towards things like the preseason. Our scouting report's finished. How is this driver? Mary Comfort, not too great. Looks like these uh, latest scouting... Uh, uh, looks like these latest scouts have been pretty damn crap. But we've got a lot of mail here. Uh, for Shah, car condition, must respond with this interview. Great win for Balcazar. Made all, she's immen immensely talented. Made my job easy there. Yeah, she really did. Cruz finishing down 19th. Not, uh, very poor weekend. Needs to do better in the future. This guy is just rubbish. Let me know the final verdict, guys. Should we just bite the bullet? Leave the 4 million and, you know, just get rid of them. Because how, how, how has he actually crashed twice in an episode? Both races. 
Pathetic. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Uh, we've got a uh, gearbox on the way, 10 days away, but uh, you can see we have improved the car quite drastically there, actually, right at the end of the season. And all these risky parts we've got, all these risky parts will eventually go away and we'll have a solid foundation, I think. Hopefully, he's, he's hoping, but that's where I'm going to leave it there, guys. I'm going to leave it right here. We'll continue all of this at the very next, uh, the very beginning of the next episode, guys. So, if you did enjoy it, let me know in the comments below and hit that like button. If you're new around do subscribe for weekly 4 on content. I've been over. I hope you're today, and we'll see you guys next time.